Welcome to this video. Today I want to introduce you to HitFilm Express, which is a free video editing solution that you can use if you are looking to get into video editing but don't want to spend a lot of money on, say, Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. This is a great alternative. Now this video is meant to be simple and meant for beginners, so I'm just going to give a basic introduction on how to get started. I'm not going to go over all the features or settings, just a basic simple introduction. And I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description to this page where you can download it free for both Windows and for Mac. Now when you first open the program you will see a window like this. I do recommend that you come up here to the top left hand side and click on file and go to options. Now there's two things here that you want to check for. First click on auto save and make sure that this is enabled. I would also adjust the time to say about 10 minutes just because I can tell you right now nothing is worse than doing a lot of edits and then have say the power go out or the battery die on your laptop or whatever and you lose all of your editing. So to save a headache make sure that that is enabled and then also go, uh, go down to export and right here is the location as to where your video is going to export when we're finished. Just make sure that it is where you want it to go so that way you can locate it when done. Now at this point I'm going to close this window, go back to file and click on new. Again just stick with the defaults for now, we're just keeping it basic and simple so just click on OK. And this is the actual video editor, we're in the program and at first glance it may look a little intimidating uh, but what we're going to do is just click on import over here on the left hand side to grab the video clip that we want to use. I'm just going to select it and then click on open and it will list it here on the left hand side. Now we need to move our video clip over here to our timeline so, so I'm just going to click on it, hold down the mouse button and just drag it over and we can see that we have two bars here. The top one is our video footage, the bottom one is the audio so we have video one and audio one and they are linked together so if I move one the other goes with it. You can unlink them by right clicking and go to unlink but I want to keep them synchronized so I'm going to leave them linked as of right now. You will notice that if I move this bar the video footage will show up here on the top right hand side and then for a video that I have selected from this column I can move this bar to see the video footage in the top left corner. So this one is for anything selected from this column and the top right hand side is for what is in our timeline. Now you may have noticed that there is some blank black footage at the beginning of this clip that we're going to edit out and so I'm just going to find about where it starts right there and then down here at the bottom I can actually zoom in by moving this bar. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can get a little more precise as to where the video starts. It looks like it's about right there and then I can come over here and click on this little razor icon and I can click anywhere to slice but I want to slice right here because I know that's where my video footage begins and so when it turns red I know it's ready to slice. I'm just going to click and then I can select the cursor, the pointer and I'm going to select the footage, hit delete to get rid of it. I can also select all of these at once, hit delete and now they're gone and I do have this empty space. I can either just click and drag to move it to the left or I can just right click in the blank area, hit ripple delete gap and it moves everything to the left for me and then I can go ahead and come back here to the bottom and zoom back out. Now I can also import a second clip if I'd like to do so. So I'm just going to grab number two, hit open. You can see it just again listed down here in the bottom left hand side and this time I'm going to come up here and I don't want to drag the whole thing like I did with the first one so I'm just going to find kind of where I want to start up here and then on my keyboard I'm going to hit the letter I as in Indiana that's for in and then I'm going to slide it to where I want to end the clip I'm grabbing about right here so I'm going to hit the letter O as in Oklahoma that's for out so I have my in and my out and I'm just going to click on it, hold down the mouse button and drag it down to the timeline. Now I can put it down here at the end or I can put it on top and then I have a video two and an audio two. These are linked so where I move them they will go together. Now one problem is, well there's a couple problems. If I view this area, video two is covering video one. I cannot see video one right now. However, if I click on and select uh, video number two and then come up here I can actually 
make some adjustments. I'm going to hold the shift key and then minimize the window here a little bit and kind of have a bit of a picture in picture sort of deal going on. Now the other issue is I have two audio bars, which means if both of these audios are playing at the same time, it may be a little difficult to hear. Now I can just come over here and click the little volume to mute audio number two, or I can right click on video number two, click on unlink, and then just select just audio number two, hit delete, and now it's gone. And then if I hit play by hitting spacebar, you can see we have a picture in picture sort of effect going on where we can see both uh, video footage playing at the same time. Another thing that's useful is being able to add text. And so I'm going to come over here and click on new and then click composite shot. When this window pops up, just go ahead and click on OK. We're just sticking with the defaults. And then you'll notice that we have two tabs right here. We have the editor tab where we previously were and now we're on shot number one. Click on new layer and just select text. And then we have a little cursor over here in this blank area. I'm just going to type in something. And so there's our text. Now I'm going to select it all. Uh, maybe. There we go. Let's try that again. I'm just going to select the whole thing. And then we're going to come over here and click the little arrow to scroll to the right and select text. And we can change the font if we'd like to do so. We can change the size of our text. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to bold it. And we're also going to give it a border. I'm just going to type in five. And so we can see that there is a red border. Now it looks like we have two text layers here. So I'm just going to right click and click on remove. So we get rid of the extra one. And there's our very basic, very simple text. And then to get back to where we were, I'm just going to click on editor and then click on the left arrow here and click on media. And then our text layer shot number one is now listed here in the left hand column. So to get it in, I'm just going to click and drag it over. We can place it wherever we want. And it will appear over our video number one footage. I could also, if I wanted to, I could put it on a third row. So that way we have both the picture in picture as well as the text. And then if I need to make some adjustments, I just click on it so it's selected. And then I can select the pointer icon up here on the top left hand side or top middle. And then I can move the text around wherever I need to. If it's too big, I can adjust it. Again, I'm just holding the shift key to minimize the text a little bit. I can place it wherever I need to do so. And then if I go ahead and hit play, we'll go ahead and play with the text there as well as our picture in picture. Now I've decided that this video is a little too long, so I'm just going to go here to the right a little bit, grab our razor tool, slice it, and then select our cursor, select the end here that we want to get rid of, hit delete. So now our video's much shorter. And then at this point, I feel that I'm, I'm done. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to export it. So we do wanna make sure we click on file and save before we export. And then once we're ready to export it, we just wanna click on export contents and then go to export. And it does have some built-in presets. Again, just to keep this simple, I would just go with the uh, YouTube 1080p option and then it's going to list it here in the queue. I'm just going to click on start exporting and it will begin to export our video. Now once the video has exported, you can go ahead and upload it to YouTube or upload it to Facebook or wherever you want to put it or just view it. Whatever you need to do with it, it's ready to go. And that's just a very basic introduction on some of the things that you can do in this software. There are a lot more features, a lot more effects that you can add to your video but I just wanted to keep it very simple, very easy to get started. But if you do have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If there's something specific you need to see, post those down below as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.